South Jersey announced a big break in a decades-old missing persons case today. A 14-year-old girl disappeared in Burlington County back in 1974. Today, the FBI released new evidence they hope leads to her abductor. Eyewitness News reporter Matt Petrillo is live at Burlington City Police Headquarters with more tonight. Matt? Well, today is the 45th anniversary. Margaret Fox went missing. It is a case that has haunted the Burlington community. But today, investigators told us they're still following leads and are hopeful they'll solve this missing person mystery. This case has been passed down through generations of law enforcement. Burlington City Police Chief John Fine made a passionate plea today over the 45 year old missing persons case of Margaret Fox. In the event the offender is deceased, and you know the whereabouts of Margaret. We ask you if you would like to speak to you. Authorities say Fox was 14 years old when she disappeared. It was June 24th, 1974. Fox was in eighth grade at St. Paul's Roman Catholic School in Burlington when she paid for a classified ad in a local newspaper trying to find babysitting work. A man responded saying he would meet her at a bus stop at High and Mill Streets in Burlington, but Fox was never seen again. Not knowing what happened to your child is a torture beyond what any of us care to imagine. For 45 years, the Fox family has endured that torture. A few days after her disappearance, Fox's mom received a disturbing phone call. Police just made it public today after enhancing the audio with new technology. Take a close listen. $10,000 might be a lot of bread. But your daughter's life is the butter topic. Who is it? If you think you might know that voice, you're asked to call Burlington City Police. The phone call is considered suspicious because it reiterated a message left on a ransom note sent to Margaret Fox's house shortly after she went missing. $10,000 might be a lot of bread, but your daughter's life is the butter topic. Who is it? And today, police acknowledged it's possible bo both Margaret Fox and her abductor could be dead, but they believe that they still could solve this case and they want to close it. They explain why. Coming up on Eyewitness News at 6. Reporting live in Burlington City, Matt Petrillo, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Matt, we'll see you then. Thank you.